Kum Mela, the grand spiritual gathering held at the confluence of sacred rivers, is often viewed as a purely religious event. Millions of people from across the world participate in this centuries-old tradition, seeking spiritual upliftment. But is Kum Mela just a matter of faith, or does it have a deeper scientific and historical foundation? This episode is part of an initiative by Physical Sciences Consultorium to explore the Indian knowledge system for educational outreach. Through this series, we aim to rediscover and present the scientific principles embedded in ancient Indian traditions. In this episode, we go beyond the mythology to uncover the astronomical, geographical, and historical foundations of Kumela, showcasing how it reflects the scientific wisdom of ancient India. The timing of Kumela is not random, it follows precise astronomical calculations. The event is held when Jupiter, Brihaspati, enters Aquarius, Kumbha Rashi, while the Sun is in Aries, Mesha Rashi. But why these specific planetary positions? Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, takes approximately 12 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Ancient Indian astronomers noticed this cycle and linked it to larger cosmic rhythms. The synchronization of Jupiter's motion with solar and lunar cycles was believed to influence Earth's energy balance, making certain time periods more auspicious for spiritual and environmental harmony. Classical Indian texts such as the Surya Siddhanta and Brihat Samhita detail planetary movements with remarkable accuracy. These texts demonstrate the advanced astronomical knowledge of ancient scholars, who used meticulous calculations to determine celestial alignments. The tradition of Kum Mela, therefore, is deeply rooted in this ancient astronomical science, ensuring that it coincides with specific cosmic configurations. The selection of Kum Mela's locations, particularly Prayagraj, where the Ganga, Yamuna, and the mythical Saraswati rivers meet, also has scientific significance. River confluences, or Sangams, are known for their unique hydrological properties. Ancient Indian scholars recognized, that water from different rivers carries distinct mineral compositions, and when they merge, they create a self-purifying effect. Modern research has confirmed that the Ganga's waters contain bacteriophages, which naturally eliminate harmful bacteria, making the rivers water resistant to decay. The Yamuna, with its slower flow, brings additional organic nutrients, enriching the ecosystem. The Saraswati, described in Vedic texts, is believed to have once been a mighty river that supported early civilizations. Geological studies suggest that remnants of this river might still exist underground, supporting the descriptions found in ancient scriptures. The selection of Prayagraj as a sacred confluence aligns with deep scientific observations about river ecology and water chemistry. The concept of grand gatherings at riverbanks for knowledge exchange, spiritual practices, and social cohesion can be traced back to the Vedic era. References to such gatherings are found in the Rigveda, where sages congregated near rivers for philosophical discussions. However, the first detailed record of Kum Mela comes from the 7th century accounts of Xuanzang, the Chinese traveler who documented a massive congregation of scholars, monks, and pilgrims at Prayagraj. During ancient times, these gatherings served as intellectual hubs, where astronomers, mathematicians, and philosophers debated new discoveries. It was a time of knowledge sharing, where different schools of thought interacted, influencing Indian science, medicine, and philosophy. The Kum Mela, therefore, was not just a spiritual event, it was an intellectual and scientific assembly, reinforcing India's long-standing tradition of integrating knowledge with practice. The ritual bath, Snana, at Kum Mela is not merely a symbolic act, it has scientific implications. Studies have shown that cold water immersion enhances blood circulation, boosts the immune system, and reduces stress levels. Given that Kumel often occurs in winter, taking a dip in mineral-rich waters can have significant physiological benefits. 
Ancient Indian traditions also considered planetary alignments to have an influence on Earth's electromagnetic field. The specific positions of Jupiter and the Sun were believed to create an energetic environment that was particularly beneficial for mental and physical well-being. Modern research into bioelectromagnetism suggests that planetary influences on Earth's magnetosphere could, in theory, have subtle effects on biological rhythms. Additionally, the cum Mellon provides a fascinating case study for modern scientists in the fields of crowd dynamics, sociology, and public health. The ability to manage millions of people in a single location, ensuring hygiene and security, has led to innovative advancements in urban planning and disaster management. Cummella continues to attract interest from researchers across disciplines. Ecologists study the impact of mass bathing on river ecosystems, while anthropologists analyze the social dynamics of one of the world's largest gatherings. Today, air-driven crowd management systems and big data analytics are used to optimize logistics at the festival, blending ancient traditions with modern technological solutions. As the world seeks sustainable ways to balance cultural heritage with scientific progress, Kumela serves as a living example of how ancient wisdom can inform contemporary challenges. From astronomy to hydrology, from medicine to sociology, Kumela reflects the scientific foresight of Indian civilization. Kumela is not just an event of faith, it is a confluence of science, history, and tradition. Its timing follows sophisticated astronomical calculations, its location aligns with hydrological wisdom, and its rituals echo biological benefits. The festival's enduring legacy highlights how ancient Indian knowledge was deeply rooted in systematic scientific thought. This exploration of Kummela is part of the Physical Sciences Consultorium's initiative to rediscover the Indian knowledge system for educational outreach. Through this effort, we aim to bridge the gap between tradition and modern science, encouraging a deeper appreciation of India's intellectual heritage. We invite you to reflect on the hidden scientific wisdom within our traditions. Do you think there are more ancient festivals with scientific foundations waiting to be explored? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video insightful, please support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your participation helps us continue this journey of discovery.